Could Captain Kirk, the spacefarer and notorious ladies man be reimagined as a bisexual in the upcoming Star Trek series from Secret Hideout? We're about to find out, for in this video we will go through the latest rumor, see what our sources have to say about them, and finally the latest rumors of the hurdles facing Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery. In our previous Star Trek video, we reported that despite not having yet the necessary distribution deals or funding to actually make it in place, Secret Hideout and Viacom CBS nonetheless proceeded to announce the Pike-centric spin-off series Strange New Worlds. However, just like the earlier announcements of the Section 31 spin-off series and the numerous backdoor announcements of Star Trek IV and the Tarantino Star Trek movie before that, this announcement was but an attempt to drive up hype and online discussion in order to convince a funding and distribution partner to come aboard and actually pay for production. We have been told that both Amazon and Netflix, both of whom are now burned on this iteration of Star Trek from Picard and Discovery respectively, rejected the pitch for Strange New Worlds. Reportedly, they perceived it as more of the same brand of Star Trek that hadn't worked for either, from the same people that had demonstrated that Star Trek wasn't their strong suit. Several times over. However, Secret Hideout were free to revise their pitch and to try again, and last we heard, the most recent pitch involved Captain Kirk being brought into the fray early, even if Pike was supposed to be the focal point. We now continue with the most recent rumor of what direction about the 25% different Kirk might take. Oh. To be clear, this rumor does not come from any of our sources. We learned it from Red Shirts Always Die, and they in turn learned it from Daniel Richtman on Twitter. Where he learned it from is unknown to us, but he is a known scooper, so this rumor shouldn't be dismissed outright. Pending further confirmation, however, it should be considered as just that, a rumor. So what is this rumor? Well, Rickman tweeted he heard they are toying with the idea of making Kirk buy in the new series. That would imply that it is not yet a done deal, but if they indeed are toying with the idea, there is a chance it might be. Could there be any truth to this? We put the question to our sources. According to our sources, Strange New Worlds still has no funding and therefore no formal green light. Until such time that a green light has been given, the concept is still subject to change and only a very small number of people will know the details of the pitch. As such, none of our sources were able to confirm the rumor that Kirk might swing both ways. However, they also weren't able to debunk it. One opined that taking Kirk in this direction could easily be a Hail Mary they would be willing to try, and if they did, it wouldn't be the first time either. At one point, director S.J. Clarkson was attached to helm Star Trek IV, and the wokeness she apparently promised was allegedly used as a selling point to win investors over. However, investors weren't won over. They did not support that iteration of the movie. S.J. Clarkson went on to direct the ill-fated Game of Thrones spin-off series pilot that was cancelled on account of it being too woke. Still, our sources don't doubt they would make Kirk buy if they thought that would lead to funding. For now, this remains a rumor. And we just heard another rumor as well, and this one did come from our sources. Apparently, the internal test screening of the preliminary cuts of Star Trek Discovery are testing horribly, worse even than Season 1 and Season 2 did at the comparable point in their respective production cycles. In both earlier seasons, those poor test screenings led to rewrites and partially extensive reshoots. The rumor reaching us is that Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery is also in need of reshoots, but that will be a challenge. We have previously reported on rumors suggesting that Season 3 might be the last that Discovery will get, and that the reshoots that were done around New Year's were about creating a makeshift finale. Since then, the Star Trek Discovery sets at Pinewood, Toronto were dismantled and the sound stages rented to other studios. Since there are no more Discovery sets, however, reshoots are going to be a challenge. What we are hearing is that for that reason, they have to work with the footage they have and try to make the best season they can in the editing bay. How excited are you for Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery? And what do you feel about the prospect of actually seeing slash fiction on screen? Let us know in the comments and be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. We also recommend you check out The Burnett Network, the YouTube channel of our good friend and Star Trek connoisseur, Robert Meyer Burnett.